we're going to take another look at putting together a web page and this time the page that we're going to put together is just a little bit of a baby step ahead of where we were last time what we're going to do is to build a, another small web page that is going to have a list inside a list so again I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open notepad I have it here but also under all programs accessories I'll find it there and I'm going to put together the very basics to start off with HTML and down here HTML I'll come inside title my next baby step in web page creation. Now it's important to remember that every time you have the opening for a tag with a less than sign, you have to have the beginning of the tag immediately afterwards. Um, so after the less than, I have to have the T immediately afterwards. At the ending, I have to have the slash T immediately after the less than. Now, at this point, I'm now going to come back in here, and I'll create the opening and closing tags for the body. And I'm going to write here... Um, something a little different. I'm, I can actually include a little bit of formatting in here. The truth is it's something that is somewhat frowned on these days, but since we're not going to take the time at this moment to learn cascading style sheets, we'll take advantage of this. After the H2, align equals center. Notice that the center, word center, has to be in quotation marks. I have one space between H2 and a line. It could be more than one, but not a line between them. Um, and no space between a line and the equal sign and the open quote for center. Now, my next, oops, next baby step in web page creation. and I have to put the H in here. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm not going to put it in so that I can show you what's going to happen. I'll come here again, and again, remember, save as type is all files. If you don't do that, it's not going to open correctly. And here I'll simply call it babystep.html. Now I'm going to open Google Chrome again. And again, control O, and I'm going to come down to where baby step is. And this is what you see. And you'll notice that you cannot see the, um, the, um, the line that's supposed to go below it. Now, one of the things that we can do with a browser is we can commonly see what the source code is. And by that, I mean the original document complete with the HTML tags. I'm going to right click and you'll see here a list and on the bottom down here you'll see view page source. And as you look through this you can see that I opened it with H2. Here I didn't put anything like that in. So I can see where the problem is. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to notepad and I'll put in the H, I'll save it, I'll come back here and reload, and hmm, oh, I did get that correctly, sorry about that, anyway, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to put H3, your name goes here 
And what I'm going to do now is save it again, come back over here and reload again, and you can see where the name goes. It's an, it's an iterative process. We go back and forth and back and forth, and we can see if there's a mistake or anything else in there. Now, at this point, I'm going to actually come skip a line, make this a little easier to read. This is my next web page. I like doing this because. And I'm going to save it. And I'll come here. And again, you can see the text goes in there. Now, I'm going to have two lists here. This is for, oops, for the list. And I'm going to make this another line down to make things a little easier to read. And I'm going to have here, it's really easy. And have to remember in every case to close my tags. And just to be proper about it, let me close this one in advance so I don't forget to do it. Now, at this point, I'm going to have a list within a list. So having closed that, I'm going to put here an other unordered list. And here I'll write, even I can. Oops, that's not the line I meant to do. But that's okay, because I can come in and put another line above it. Anyone can do it. And again, let's save. And again, you can see things beginning to come together. Now, after the inner list is finished, I can put in it's really fun. And you'll see in a moment what happens when I do that. I get to leave early, excuse me. And let's save it again. And you'll notice I have the I get to leave early, but the is really fun isn't there. Um, I open the tag, and you can see it here. I should have an L, I, and a greater than sign, but I don't have that. So I'm going to put an LI here. That will fix it. Save that. And there I have it. Now, I'm going to post, although not today, uh, the next two web pages. And they're a little more involved, but not necessarily by a great deal. Um, in either case, if you have any problems with it, email me a copy of your HTML files the way you have them, and I can respond and let you know exactly where things went wrong. The single most important thing is you have to be extraordinarily exact in how you type things, because otherwise what will happen is it may not work out the way you want to. Now you'll notice I had a, a bulleted list inside a bulleted list, so you can see the difference in the type of bullets. And Again, the files that you have, you're going to submit them, uh, the original HTML files that you have um, on Moodle, and that's it.